Okay, we're going to have a look at plugins in QGIS. So fire up Quantum GIS. Okay, uh, once it's loaded, get rid of your initial splash screen and go into the plugins menu. Here you can look at fetching the Python plugins. Now plugins essentially add functionality to QGIS. So developers throughout the world create tools that they find useful and then they can share them uh, throughout the community. And so here's the the plugins dialog and as you saw earlier on it went through a number of different repositories which you can choose here and made a list of all of the different installed plugins for QGIS. As you can see a number of plugins come pre-installed so you've got OpenStreetMap to deal with OpenStreetMap editing, uh, GDAL tools which uh, deal with format interoperability and format conversion. So there's a whole range of really, really useful stuff in here. Now if you want to install um, a, a plugin, you just click on your desired plugin and uh, tell it to install. Now here we're going to look for um, an open layers plugin so that will allow us to put OpenStreetMap or Google Maps on the background of, of anything we show so we click on the one we want and we can go install and it should say plugin installed successfully and we can do that for as many different plugins as we want you'll also note as you use this that um, some of the plugins require external packages so for example here the home range estimation with R, uh, which you will probably find quite useful for the Jebel Samhan and Leopard project, where you can look at the home range estimates based upon field data, um, requires the R statistical package and the RPy2 Python bindings to link to, to the R stats package. I haven't got them installed in this virtual machine, so I can't uh, load it up. Okay, so that's how you install plugins, but equally you can manage your plugins as well. So if you click on plugins, manage plugins, here's a list of all of the different plugin types that we have installed. So, and we can enable or disable the plugins themselves directly from here. And very nicely, it tells us where we can find the functionality. So if we want to have a look at the GDAL tools, we look in the raster menu toolbar. So we can go down here, for example, we can look at creating heat maps from point distributions and street map plugins. So let's select it. OK, so we can manage as to whether you know, those functions are off and on. And now, as you can see, because we checked the OSM, we have our new OSM editing box. And here we have the GDAL tool settings within the raster directory. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much indeed.